metabolic syndrome is a whole panorama of metabolic disturbance and so you've got lots of different factors to look at whether it's trying to lower the blood pressure, uh, increasing HDL cholesterol, reducing blood sugar, um, reducing belly fat, and, and also reducing triglycerides. So you can imagine that if you're addressing all these different factors, um, if you were to do a pharmaceutical approach, it would involve potentially uh, three to five different pharmaceuticals. And so the, the idea with the pharmaceuticals is that uh, you know, you're, you're trying to get at those symptoms quickly, oftentimes it's kind of a, a quick fix approach, but longer term what happens is you start to see side effects. And especially when these drugs are combined, longer term you start to see a lot of uh, detrimental effects in, in terms of people's physiology. And so the, the beauty of the research that we heard about today is really that this, the whole approach to metabolic syndrome can be done in a, a holistic approach, um, eating a whole foods diet, really including a lot of fruits and vegetables to deliver those phytochemicals that are going to change and reverse the, the signals in the body. And then on top of that, uh, including a medical food, and a medical food is simply a, a food that is targeted for a specific clinical indication. It's got all the nutrition that you need, and so layering a medical food on top of a, a tailored diet program is actually very efficacious um, in terms of reducing metabolic syndrome. When we look at the results of our clinical trial, including the medical food, plus uh, a nutraceutical, plus the, the diet and exercise, what we saw was a 43% net resolution of metabolic syndrome. And you don't even get that with some of the pharmaceuticals that are used for metabolic syndrome. So it's really an incredible opportunity to leverage lifestyle medicine throughout medical clinics to, to talk with people about this. Most people do want a natural therapy. They don't want to have to take a drug if they can avoid it. So I'm, I'm really excited about these results for that very reason.